Hi, welcome to your four minute lesson. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Guitar Toolbox book and uh, looking at the 12 bar blues in E blues. So in the back page of this book, on um, page 69, you've basically got a, um, all the blues chords uh, in their chord families. So in there you've got um, all the main blues chords, A blues, B blues, C, D, E, F and G um, in their family. So if you've got the E7 chord family here, we can see the E7 chord, the A7 chord, and the B7 chord there as well. And that's what we're looking at today in E blues. So let's look at the chords. Um, so E7 starts with the first finger on the first fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the A string. And we can strum that down, E7. Then we can move our second finger to the second fret of the D string, our third finger to the second fret of the B string, and strum that A7 there. And then what we can do, we can actually move those two fingers up a string like that, so the second finger on the A string, third on the um, so, uh, third finger on the second fret of the G string, and then your first finger goes actually on the first fret of the D string like that. Um, and then we can also put our pinky down all the way down the second fret of the E string there as well, so we can actually play the whole lot like that. So E7, A7, then you can move those two fingers up a string, first finger down on the first fret of the D string, and our pinky on the second fret of the high E string, like that. E7, A7, and B7. And those chords are basically known as the 1, 4, 5 chords. So the 1, 4, 5 means the first, fourth, and fifth chords of the progression. So in E, you've got E, F, G, A, B. So E, A, B. And in the book as well, it gives you a 12-bar progression. A 12-bar um, blues progression is basically the standard formula that blues works with. So you've got the E blues listed there. So let's have a little strum through. So E7, we're going to do four bars of E7. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, that's your second bar. This is your third bar. Fourth bar. A7 now. The fifth bar. And your sixth bar. Back to your seventh bar is E7. And then your eighth bar. And then your ninth bar will be your B7. Tenth bar, A7. And then E7 will be your 11th bar, and then you can also play E7 for your 12th bar. With E7, you can also, um, with any blues, the 12th bar can either be the E7 chord or a B7 chord. And the difference being that if you play an E7 chord at the end, it kind of brings the song to a natural resolution. If you play a B7 chord, it has an unresolved sort of feeling. Uh, also, we also call that a turnaround chord because it turns the progression back around to the start again after that as well. So that's your 12 bar in E blues. And I'm going to have a look, have a look at um, something we, we can also do with the last two bars as well. It's called a turnaround. How you play a turnaround is if you hit your bass E string like that, first thing on the third fret of the B string, second finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and we can go G string, B string, G string. Then we move up down a fret, G string, B string, G string. Move it down a fret, G string, B string, G string. Let me pinch the G and B together. Then we go open A string, the first thing on the first fret, and then the B7 chord. So that's called a turnaround. Open string, B, a G string, B, G string, G string, B string, G string, G string, B string, G string, pinch, open, first fret, B7, and then together it goes. Like that. And that's your turnaround in E, and your four minute lesson, thank you.